Well, new polling has revealed New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern has suffered her lowest preferred PM ranking since becoming leader of the Labor Party in 2017. Let's go to our New Zealand Bureau Chief, Jessica Maggio. Jessica, how tight is it now? Pete, it's very tight and no doubt it's going to be making Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern a little anxious this morning. As you mentioned, that One News Cantar public poll has revealed she's facing her lowest ever preferred PM ranking. And if we look at this graph that I can show you, she's down 1%, uh, sorry, 1 point at 29%. What's worse, however, is that the gap between herself and the opposition leader, Christopher Luxon, uh, from the National Party here is closing in very tight. It's the closest the two have been in the preferred PM ranking. He's sitting at 23% up two points. He was elected as national leader just last November, so it's not been very long at all. And as I say, some anxiety for Jacinda Ardern this morning. Uh, what we're also seeing is that the National and uh, the ACT Party, who are aligned in New Zealand's parliament, have a clear majority and could govern alone, uh, which would overthrow Labor in the next election. So National is leading on 38%. They are up one point. Labor, however, is down on 33%, down one point. That's also a joint lowest result since winning the election in 2017. So popularity for the Labor Party continues to trend down. But uh, essentially, Ardern has uh, generated a lot of popularity internationally. Nationally, that's not looking like the case uh, as we head into the election. Election years. So there are a lot of policies that people disagree on. She's done a lot of backflipping on certain policies and had to make a lot of apologies for mistakes that have been made. Also, New Zealand is most definitely going to head into recession next year as inflation rises. So there are a lot of concerns and that is really going to be putting pressure on Jacinda Ardern as she heads into an important election year. Pete?